What is up everybody? Today we're gonna see if you can use rubbing alcohol as gas lamp. Excuse the dirtiness, this car needs to be cleaned. Mazda Miata, turboed, mega squirt, y'all know the drill. We're gonna drain the gas tank as we normally do and put the rubbing alcohol in and see if it runs on rubbing alcohol. So my little hood prop fell off, so we're using good old morning wood. As you can see there, I gotta explain what's going on with the engine. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but if you saw the last video, the car has developed a blow-by issue. It's basically pumping a bunch of smoke out of the PCV system. This happened, this started occurring right after the seafoam video, so my best guess is either one piston ring or multiple piston rings are going bad, they're stuck or something. So what we did, we actually went in last night, we took out all the spark plugs, and we filled each cylinder almost all the way up. These two were filled up completely, we ran out, and these two were not filled up completely. But we filled the cylinders up with a mixture of Marvel Mystery Oil, Automatic Transmission Fluid, and 10W30 Oil. So we mixed those three together, poured them into the cylinders, with the hope that overnight, it's been about 24 hours, that mixture would seep past the pistons, past the rings, and kind of unstick the rings to solve the blow-by issue. So anyways, we need to we need to take care of this little issue first. So before we drain the oil, we're gonna go ahead and crank the engine over a little bit to try and get the pistons to move. Okay, so put it in neutral. We're just gonna briefly crank it over. <laughs> oh, I made a terrible noise. As you can see, yep, I was right. Everywhere. I probably should have put a towel down or something. Too late now. <laughs> it went all the way out here. <laughs> and Zach is here. Go ahead. Oh, dude. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How is it getting me but not the camera? Yeah. It's jumping everywhere. <laughs> Hold up, you It got on the soft top. You got Sorry. transmission transmission, mystery oil, and oil on my soft top Sorry, and on bro. the car I spent an hour cleaning. So I think we've cranked it over three or four times now and it's still shooting ATF and Marvel Mister oil all over the place. So And he got oil on his best friend's car. All the truck. <laughs> Zach's not happy. <laughs> Round number what, four? Yeah. Something like that. Alright, let's do it. Christ. Good. This is pretty bad. This is no bueno. So we didn't have enough time yesterday to finish this video, so this is part two of this video. Part four. Actually part three, technically. Third, yeah. Because this is the third day we're filming this, because yesterday we tried to continue it, but it just didn't work. So anyways, what we're doing right now, he is draining, or preparing to drain the gas tank. All he's doing, he's disconnecting the fuel line at the rail, and we're hooking up a little hose that will then run into our gas tank, which is not there right now. The car has about less than a quarter tank of gas, so we're just gonna drain all the gas that's left in there into this little five gallon jug. So right now what we're doing is we're draining the gas right into there. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the first part, isopropyl alcohol. So this is pretty different from gasoline, as you guys would imagine. The main difference is gasoline burns at a 14.6 or 14.7 to 1 ratio, while this burns at roughly a 7 to 1 ratio. So theoretically, to get this to run the same as gasoline, we would have to increase the fuel by 
Luckily, on this car, it's the 1990 Mazda Miata, it's turbocharged, we have bigger injectors and also an aftermarket ECU. We have the ability to go into our tuning software and overall increase our entire fuel map by 50%. Guys, if this video gets 5,000 likes, we will try Everclear or some kind of actual drinking alcohol. Can't drink this. But yeah, drop a like on this video. If you guys want to see Everclear, we'll do it once this video hits 5,000 likes, which I'm pretty sure you guys will have no problem doing. 5,000 likes, let's do it. Gas tank is empty. Zach just disconnected our second line. He's going to go ahead and reconnect the fuel line for the fuel rail. Good deal. Gas tank is drained, and to prove it to y'all, and just try and start the car real quick. Completely empty. All right, time to put a gallon of rubbing alcohol in the gas tank. Let's do this. Is that hold it up in the air? You just smell the alcohol. Dude, that smells so strong. It does. There's so much focus going on right now. I'm actually impressed. You're that kid in school that would try to back away as far from the urinal as possible. Yes. <laughs> I'm really curious on if this is going to work or not. Last one. Notice stuff. I don't know how well this is for the paint, but uh... He drips it anyways. Yeah, you got right? you, you got a whole bunch of oily fluids on my car. That was an accident. This is an accident. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a gallon. Okay. Before we do this, where's the fire extinguisher? Uh, inside the car. Okay. Let's get it outside the car. <laughs> Safety first, guys. Safety first. Uh -huh. I was, I'm curious on if it's gonna make it smoke even more. Let's find out. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Drop a comment below. Three, two, one, go for it. I'm scared. Wait a second, because that's the fumes of the gasoline. Yeah. So far, so good. Okay, I take that back. I take that back. It's running. It is running. It's it's not really stuttering. It's not. So Zach's saying the AFR is actually giving a reading. Wow, that's really impressive, actually. Dude. Dude, that is awesome. We may not even have to change the fuel map. Like, it's actually running like normal. Yeah. Driving, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> but it's running like normal, it really is. Oh, there it goes. Also, the motor is cold right now. Yeah, Zach said the motor is cold right now, so it's not warmed up. It seems like every time he tries to get it moving, it just does it just does not have it at all. <laughs> it's so loud. Alright. Come back and cut it. <laughs> if you weren't giving it enough gas, it was dying. We probably do have to add the fuel, add more fuel to it. Alright, so I'm gonna go grab the laptop and let's add more fuel to it. Yeah. Alright guys, so we have our tuning software up. We're gonna go ahead and go to our fuel settings is right here and literally just going to select the entire map and increase it by 50 percent i didn't think about how to do this <laughs> <laughs> increasing the fuel table here gosh it's so sketchy you think we're going to blow the motor now i don't know <laughs> and let's see what happens go ahead try number two all right let's Such a difference. I mean, I can see looking over there, the AFRs are way off. Yeah. Okay, right. so we're gonna come to this red light, come to a no complete gas. stop. So no gas, no gas, and it's still running. No gas, I'm just applying the brake right now. As you guys can see, still no gas, just straight it's, brake. 
It's still running. Now I'm giving it gas. Take off. And I just gave it regular amount of clutch and regular amount of gas like I normally would drive in this car. It honestly drove just fine. When we were first leaving the neighborhood, I was having to give it a little bit of gas. But then after we exited the neighborhood, I wasn't having to continually give it gas. It was idling just fine on its own. Anyways, the car is running just fine, like it would normally run on regular pump gas. Uh, this is honestly by far my favorite uh, fuel additive or backup fuel we've used so far. I wouldn't say it's running just fine, but it's drivable. It's, it's doing a lot better than all of our gas experiments besides airplane fuel. Yeah, should we try and run auto tune on it? Yeah, why not? Let's see what happens. I mean, we still got we got like a gallon of this thing here, so yeah, probably like half a gallon though. I mean, worst case scenario, run out of gas and have to push it. <laughs> well, you push it. <laughs> so since that actually worked pretty well, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and use the software's auto tune feature, which is going off my preset AFR table. We're gonna let the software basically try and correct the fuel table to where it can run even better based off this AFR table that I put in. So I know to some of you this might sound like Greek, but <laughs> in a nutshell, we're gonna try and tune the car and see if we can make it run even better. So let's do it. That's basically, the car is basically tuning itself. Well, the ECU is tuning the car by itself. In, in a nutshell, yeah. Yeah. So interestingly enough, it's actually taking out a lot of fuel in this part of the table. So we're in the low RPM, low load area, and it's just taking out fuel like crazy. That's interesting. <laughs> like right now, everything feels normal. Like I was just telling Gabe, I'm very impressed with it so far because it's driving just fine. And it's normal, there's no shaking in the, the gas pedal. There's no nothing. It feels normal. But I know the question on everyone's mind, will it do donuts? What's find out? Well, he is, because I don't want to blow his motor up. So he's going to blow his motor up. Let's do this, guys. <laughs> Listen, we got the uh, Miata. We're okay. You boys like Mexico! Yeah! The answer was yes, it surprisingly did do donuts. This worked way better than expected. Yeah, and it didn't blow up. It didn't. No, so that, that was a big plus. I'm very, very honestly impressed on how well this actually worked. But then after we tuned it a little more, gave it a little more feel, it ran just fine, honestly, in my opinion. It ran great. So that gave us a lot of confidence for alcohol-based fuels. So yeah. once again, 5,000 likes, we're gonna do Everclear or Moonshine, probably Everclear. So Everclear. Yeah? Everclear, yeah. So drop a like on this video and let's let's do some Everclear because that would be interesting. I've never done that before. Yeah. I've never done any of this before. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. Later. Yes. So what we're doing today, we're gonna find out if rubbing alcohol, AKA isopropyl, I, iso, that. We're gonna see if rubbing alcohol can work as gasoline in a car.